This is how I render my art. So, what is rendering? When I first started digital art, I didn't really know what it was. Did I find the answer? Nope. So I'm just gonna assume that rendering is when you take your colored sketch and polish it. And that's what I'm gonna teach you. I realized I don't really have any steps to rendering because I just ball. But anyways, my rendering process was way too quick to make a tutorial on, so I'm just gonna throw in how I make my sketch into my line art, since it's technically part of rendering. So now this video has two parts. Okay, let's start. Step number one, learn structure and composition. For this, you'll need to learn shapes. You can use shapes to form your composition. There are three main shapes I use to form my composition. Triangles, cir- mm. uh, tri Triangles. The main shape I use for my composition are triangles. Triangles are great because it leads the audience's eye to your main subject. Okay, now we sketch. First, build off your structure with the shape of your choice. I'm too lazy to do line art, so let me teach you how to make your line art from your sketch without having to trace over it. My most important tip for turning your sketch into your line art is to make sure that your structure is obvious. Make sure that you don't have any protruding lines, or if you do, make sure that they count. Remember what I said about shapes? Well, you can use that not only for your composition, but for the different parts of your drawings. For example, I'll be sketching from a reference. See how I block out shapes instead of going in with random lines? It takes a certain skill to do this. The skill is called losing the will to live, or just being skilled at referencing, which is probably the more correct term. I kept emphasizing the importance of oversimplifying things in my other videos. Surprise, surprise. I'm I'm gonna tell you to oversimplify in here too. Once you're done with your main sketch, just clean up the lines. Abuse the eraser as much as you abuse your undo shortcut. Once you've cleaned up your lines, just outline the corners a bit more to make the lines look more pronounced. And you're pretty much done. My line art's not the cleanest, but I'm too lazy to trace over my lines to make line art, so yes. Next. Okay, now for coloring. Just check out my coloring video. I'm too lazy to repeat everything I said. Okay, now for rendering. Once you're satisfied with your colors, save another file, merge your layers. As much as possible, try to clean up everything first before merging your layers. Make sure to clean up your line art and your colors, and if you color your line art, I suggest doing it before you merge your layers. Don't merge your layers too early because there might be mistakes you can't fix after merging. Please save yourself from characters with glasses too, by the way. Don't merge the glasses, or you'll be forced to become a surgeon if you want to fix it. Time for a quick segment. Have you ever not been single? Well, probably not, considering you're watching a tutorial on how to render your anime girl drawings. But in any case, you are in a relationship. Have you ever faced the dilemma of wanting to be matchy with your partner by both getting an ex Artist Pro 16 Gen 2? But your partner said no? Well, don't worry, because I've got the solution for you. Me. I'm the solution. If you get the XP Pen Artist Pro 16 Gen 2, you'll automatically be matchy with me. No need for a partner when you can be matchy with an online entity you've never met. Anyways, anyways, if you're interested in getting a pen display, let me raise this tablet up for you. First, let's unbox this thing. This pen tablet also comes with a pen, obviously, but this pen has 16,000 pressure levels. It also has a really sleek pen case, which I've now deemed my new fidget toy. And it also has a remote control, which is really handy. And it also has a built-in stand. And this is footage of me using the tablet. The screen is matted and is so silky to draw. And it's it's great, just yeah, just just get it guys. Thank you again, XP Pen, for trusting a friendly neighborhood raccoon to try this tablet out. Okay, back to rendering. We'll take the things we learned from our first part. My process for rendering is very similar to the way I make my line art. It requires a lot of erasing and adding and erasing and adding and erasing and adding again and 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 again. Okay, so this is the part where I tell you to just ball. Except I have you guys too much for this video, so I won't just end here. I don't really have a clear explanation on how I render, but for some reason it ends up looking okay. Here are my favorite tips for rendering. Once you merge your layers, the first thing you'll do is analyze what needs to be fixed. For me, the most important things I need to fix all the time are the blending in my colors with the line art. Sometimes the line art looks too harsh, so I go back to it and blend it to the colors. Another tip is to approach it in a painterly and sculptorly way. We already went as far to merge our layers, so just have fun. Or 
not. In this part, I'm gonna teach you how to do this wispy effect thing I do a lot in my backgrounds to make your rendered drawings look a bit more magical. Make your background darker than white. Airbrush your skin color or the color white to your background or to a layer on top of your background. Set your eraser's opacity to around 40 and carve the sides of your airbrush part. Okay, now we fix our colors. This is the part I like adding more ambient light because sometimes I miss out doing it in the coloring stage. In this stage, I just fix everything that needs to be fixed. Okay, next is adding random dots. I usually add them to add impact to my drawings. This is with the dots, and this is without the dots. And lastly, we go back and outline some important parts of your drawing. Usually this step looks best on the eyes. Get a color that's close to black and get your thickest brush. Outline some of the edges to make it look more pronounced. And yeah, that's pretty much it for my rendering process. Thanks for watching.